Gentlemen, welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host, Nancy Lewis. Today we're going to be talking about getting things done in the Kansas legislature. And we're here today at the Johnson County Community College. We're appreciative of them letting us be here today. And I'm here with Senate President Susan Wakel. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Nancy, for the invitation. So let's talk a little bit about getting things done. You know, there, there are a lot of people who say, oh my gosh, the federal government is this do-nothing government. So how on the state level do you change that? How, how do you actually get things done? Well, we have a citizen legislature that only meets 90 days out of the year. And we come from all walks of life, different professions. We gather in January. It's the downtime. We used to be, you know, when we first became a state, we're, we were a number of farmers. Now we're all different types of professions. But we have three months to resolve problems before we go back and integrate back into our communities, go back to church and take our kids to school and go back to work. And so we're very connected with our communities and we know we have 90 days to fix our problems. So there's a beginning and there's an end and we have to balance the budget before we walk out the door. So how do you, as Senate President, how do you expedite that? Well, there's a rhythm to the legislature. When we first get together, it's like a big family gathering and we're so excited to see each other and there's a lot of social events. A lot of groups will come to Topeka to meet with us and talk to us about their issues. So at the beginning, it's very social. And then we start introducing bills and we start debating bills and, and maybe a nurse will come with an idea that she thinks is great that she'll write up in a bill and, and an insurance agent from another area of the state will look at it and say, wait a minute, that doesn't work for my business. Mm -hmm. or Maybe a farmer will introduce a bill that somebody from the city thinks it affects them negatively. And so we all throw our ideas out and the best ideas bubble up and become law because only ideas that a majority of the legislators support have a chance of passing the legislature. So you talk about the ebb and flow and, and how things work. Is it ever going to change that uh, it seems like almost everything gets done in the last day or two? <laughs> It probably won't. Yeah, I didn't think it, it probably would. won't. It just <laughs> takes a long time to filter through and understand the effect of each bill. And at the end, you, you have several choices, and it takes compromise from everyone to get out of there. No one gets their way 100%. It's always a compromise. And so it just takes time to arrive at that compromise that best suits the people of Kansas. And because it is a compromise and because there's a lot of input from different people from different geographic areas and different walks of life, it's usually a good compromise. I want to talk for you a second about being Senate President. How, how are you chosen and, and what does that job mean really? Well, right now we have 32 Republicans out of 40 and we gather right after our election to choose our leadership and it, a, it is a private ballot. Uh, several, whoever runs, wants to run for president can, and then uh, the caucus, the Republican caucus, uh, votes for their leaders. And then in my situation, then when we gather the first day of session, the Democrats also affirm the votes of the caucus. So then what do you do? So, okay, now you're, you're a pres president, what does that mean? What do you do? Well, uh, I get to organize the committees. I get to appoint people to serve on different committees, depending on what their experience is and, and, and what their talent is. And so, uh, I get to help lead, I put bills in different committees, and I have a lot to say about that flow that happens during the next three months. You know, uh, I work with my leadership team on when the bills are debated and uh, where they go and who gets assigned that uh, tenacious thought that somebody had that they put on paper. Well, it looks like you have your work cut out for you. <laughs> oh, I do, Nancy. Thanks a lot. Thanks for being here, and thank you for being here. We hope to see you next time on Newsmakers.